with the test of the Duperville. Look at this. Very charming. And the plumes are huge. Are these beautiful? Gorgeous. And they are super tony. You can see the stem. The stem are very tony. This is a large, larger stem. Look at that. I got a few. What is it over here? I forgot. Um, firefighter. We got very hot weather lately. I think this one just only open today. So you can see the fresh bloom like this. But this one opened like yesterday or the other day. You can see that. They got burned very fast in our area. This is firefighter. Few beautiful bloom over there as well. You see, they holding the blooms very well because we kind of have cool weather at the moment because of rain. And this is diamond jubilee. I think this one opened yesterday, so you can see we have a little bit of sunburn. And this one opened today, so you can see it's fresher. This cluster though, yeah, lots of bloom. Wow, this is beautiful when it's more open. And this one, Lampion Rose, I haven't shown you much of this variety, but I think it's beautiful. And this one as well, you can see it's very cute yellow flower. And they do change the color when they age as well. This one, beautiful rose. I hope to do a rose video for you this one in the future. And this next one, I think this one Scarlet Queen's Elizabeth. I don't think this one exists anymore or they sell it anymore. This one I grew from the cuttings from my neighbor. I got one bush in the front already. I think I grew it from my neighbor about a few years ago. And last year I did it again because I wanted not a bow bush. For me, it's quite old rose, even old rose actually, but it's quite healthy to compare a lot to other old roses. And this is origami, cute little flowering budget only start open. And this is how graceful and tet of Duperville again. Look at that, such gorgeous. Produce huge, huge stem. All right, let me just walk underneath it actually. And City Double Delight got sunburned because of the heat today in the morning. You got gorgeous sand though. If you want to have a gorgeous sand, I highly recommend this variety. And let's look, look at this one. Oh, this one gorgeous. I think all is just open. Maybe today. And here's the flying part. Look at that. It's raining at the moment anyway. This variety is very prone to the heat. It's not heat tolerant rose. Lampion rose. It's very good rose. Heat tolerant, rain tolerant. Flowers but still can open when it's rain. I highly recommend this rose. And this one with the eye, they often turn a different color. Let me show you. Got more pink color. Kind of like a little bit like a piece rose. And this one, vanilla rose. This one, I got two bushes or two pants as bare rooted this year. And it, that got black spots. Let me show you. So they drop quite a lot of leaves. So it's even the same one. Let me get rid of this snail. It's raining now, so it doesn't mean the snail coming out. Yeah, this one that got a black spot as well. 
but the bloom lasts for a long time. Oh, this one. I only just opened today. This one. Um, this one I got in Bunning. I'm not gonna buy rose from Bunning anymore. If, if you watch my video for a while, I always mention about the about well, their grafting area, do you know? This is SD Patrick. And this one I got one little shoot here. Hopefully it will make it and put you another case for me. You see little shoot here. But this one lasts a long long time. And they got the green cake lamp green on the outer side like this, which I really love. Got light scent. Gorgeous rose. Yeah, I highly recommend this variety for cut flower. The stem often bear long. It's a shame that uh, I got one cane, like one main cane I bought last year. I got it from last year. And two other winter is dead. So I got one little cane left here. How funny is it should you make it so put you another cane? And who knows in the future they got a lot of stems I might be able to track them from the cutting. Gorgeous. Here's the cane. And this is new Nado Vinci. This is very good rose. Heat tolerant, rain tolerant. Have quite a good scent as well. Yeah. And very healthy rose, I have to tell you. This is Raspberry Tiger, Australian bread. Gorgeous roll, good scent, lasts a long time. Yeah, the scent is just amazing. So beautiful. This one opened, I think, two days ago. You see the color a little bit fader. And this one, deeper color. You see the color more clear. Oh, this one, I haven't really shown you. This one, Misuko, I think. This is the first, oh, I'm not the first. This the bloom just opened today. You can see the color and I see it. Let me have a smell. Hmm, I think this one more like medium scent actually. But it might have a stronger scent when I smell it in the morning. And this is the fader bloom. This one opened from yesterday. They just beautiful. They love the color, the edge. Look at that. Let me try to smell this one again. Yeah. This is beautiful rose. All right, this is Rodal. Three years old. I got three bushes. They're all quite cramping together, mingling with the other over here. Gorgeous. I highly recommend Rodal. Repeat blooming really well. And it's very healthy rose. Look at that. Let me stand back a little bit further. <coughs> Sorry, I think made the buck. My <coughs> flew to my mouth. <coughs> when I'm uh, when I'm talking, how beautiful they are. Let's look at the Prince's shell in the Monaco over there. Oh, how can I gonna work in? Let me try that way. Or maybe I have to zoom in because. It's raining, it's very wet as well. Okay, here you see, I got it over here. This is very compact rose. Uh, I could not say really compact, it grows like torn, narrow, skinny way actually. Not like uh, pushing out. It's got gorgeous sand, this variety. You can see that I got two bushes of green sheets here along the Monaco. This one over here and that one. Because I, oh, I think this one maybe three meters. Do you see the top here? That tone can over there. Well, three meters tall already. And the same age, like, like roll down. Another roll down over here. This one is just off the bloom for a little bit. Okay, resting. We're preparing for blooms later. Maybe 
uh, four or five days. Oh, this one might open in three more days actually. Alright guys, it's getting dark. I thought that I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Oh, maybe one more thing. Let's look at the daily over here. Oh, how about this? This is David's Autumn Rose. This is Desdemona. Gorgeous scent. And here, Ashham. Oh, let's look at the daily first. And this is Ashham. I think I will get all wet after this actually. Okay, this is Ashham. This has beautiful scent as well. I should make a role review video for you for this variety. It does have a little bit of black spot actually. We got high humidity nasty. And I have to admit about this variety though. Still try, you know, to thrive in the heat. Oh guys, guy. I got the rough of the you video here. It's raining much harder. I will see you next video. I hope you have a uh, nice evening. Bye bye. This is Monica.